What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. We are on day four of our nipples to knees Pilates series. We are going to be focusing a little bit more on mobility today. Everything we do is 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. We got about 16 rounds. Should take us, what, 15, 16 minutes? Let's go ahead and uh, get started. All right, we're getting started in our tabletop pose for thoracic rotations. So you're gonna thread your arm all the way through, inhale, and then exhale, come up. Now the idea here is you want to keep your hips square. You just wanna rotate in that mid spine. We're going 45 seconds. You're just trying to time your breath. Inhale, exhale up. Inhale, thread, exhale up. Nice and simple. Now let's do that same thing to the other side. Again, keeping your hips square, inhaling as you thread the needle, exhale as you rotate up. Let's do one more. Inhale through, exhale up. Give yourself a break. Roll those wrists out. And we're going to do the same thing, but this time get your hand, bring it close to the ear, and you're just going to chicken wing yourself all the way through with an inhale, exhale, rotating up. Again, just rotating in that mid spine, keeping the hip square. Make sure your wrist, your elbow, and arm are all in one line, stacked onto the shoulder. One more inhale in, exhale out. Nice. Now these are really good if you're always rounding, if you're at a desk all the time, if you're writing. Most of us are always staring at our phone, so this is a really good stretch for our thoracic spine. Let's go ahead and do that one more time to the other side. Inhale in, exhale out. Rotate that bit back, keeping your hips square. Not putting too much pressure on the palms of your hand gripping with your fingertips into the mat. One more, and then we'll go ahead, bring ourselves onto our right side, and we're gonna do our side kicks. So we did these previously in the other videos, where we're inhaling back, exhale, exhale, kick. Really getting that stretch from the heel all the way to the butt.
one more inhale back exhale exhale kick let's switch sides same thing on the other side One more inhale back, exhale, exhale kick. There you go. Now let's bring ourselves into child's pose. Big toes together, knees as wide as the mat. Sink your butt down. Inhale. And then exhale, extend. Walk in your hands all the way out. And again, we're just going to breathe in here for 45 seconds. With each inhale, you get length. With each exhale, you try to go a little further. right inhale bring yourself back up we're gonna get into a cross-legged pose but this time I want you to bring your feet together and we're gonna get into a trap stretch how we do this we're gonna grab our ankles inhale and then exhale pull back so you want to lean back and pull back to get that stretch right into the traps One more, and then bring yourself down. Relax those shoulders. We're gonna do some shoulder circles. So here, we're gonna start with our arms fully extended about shoulder height. Now I want you to inhale and exhale. You're making small little circles and then big circles. So as we go on, the circles get a little bigger, a little bigger. And again, we're just trying to feel that in our shoulder blades. Don't rise up at the traps. Feel that in the shoulder blades. Five seconds here. Bring those arms down. Nice. It's a little exhausting. We're going to do that same thing, but let's reverse the circle. Do some deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Bring those arms up right to shorter height. Still rotating the opposite side you did before. We're going to feel a little burn here. Just try to bear with it.
almost there and done nice give those arms a little stretch yeah that's exhausting and then let's go ahead and get ourselves into a downward facing dog so we're going to hold our downward facing dog for 45 seconds we're going to start in a bent knee downward facing dog find your breath find your footing and then exhale straighten those legs Do one more deep inhale, one deep exhale, and then bring ourselves down. We're gonna go onto our back for same side dead bug. So we did this before, where our right arm and our right leg are gonna go back at the same time. 45 seconds one side, 15 second break, 45 seconds the other. Again, keeping that lower back imprinted into the mat, keep that core engaged. Inhaling back, exhaling back to center. One more, inhale, exhale, nice. Bend the knees into your chest. And then we'll switch sides. More inhale, exhale back to center. Nice. Bend those knees into your chest. And we're gonna get ready for straight leg stretch. Very similar to the single leg stretch. However, the difference is, you guessed it, your leg's straight. Same breathing. Inhale, switch, exhale, exhale. One more for each side, nice, and then bend those knees into your chest, bring that head down, nice. We're going to plant our feet, we're going to do a 45 second glute bridge. We're just going to hold our butt all the way up there. So make sure you inhale all the way up, taking deep breaths in here, keeping those hips up, squeezing the butt. One more deep inhale, 
on the deep exhale, bring those hips down, bend those knees into your chest, and then let's come up to a cross-legged pose. And we're just gonna do our forward folds. So nice and simple, we're just gonna inhale our arms up nice and high, use that breath, exhale, folding forward, and slowly coming back up to center. Last one here, 45 seconds, inhale, exhale, using that breath, inhale, slowly coming back up. Now when you're doing this, make sure your butt isn't coming up off the ground, only going as far as your back tells you, as far as your hips tell you. Inhale, coming all the way back up and bringing your hands down. Fine job. Day four complete. We'll see you on the next video for day five nipples to knees Pilates series.